What's up everyone? It's your boy, Neil Eats Portable Gaming Machines 420, and today I have a little gift that came in the mail, at, like a week early actually, which is really cool, because uh, that means I can use it for something that is, well, it's not, it doesn't require any of the things that's in it really, other than one major component. So, um, what I have here is a nice little laptop from Razer, and I will use my special little knife this is my murdering tool. As you know, I'm a I'm a cold hard criminal. I, I clearly, and um, I know how to I know my way around one of these thingies. So I'm just gonna boop, 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 open it up. And um, weirdly enough, it said I had to sign for the package, but uh, the guy just kind of dropped it at my front porch. So either I didn't have to sign, or he didn't care. So good on you, guy. Well, I gotta move this towel because the table I'm using outside is. Sorry, guys. Um, my phone. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. My phone keeps on falling down, and uh, I don't own a tripod that could that could fix the problem almost immediately. But I couldn't be bothered to buy one, even though they're like five dollars. Also, I, I don't know where to find a good quality one, but. That's beside the point. Um, so I'm using a really weird setup right now. Uh, it works, so I'm keeping it. So back to the computer. How do I get it out of this box? Oh, I don't want to break it. It is rather expensive. All right. This looks like it said this. Sign and. There we go. All right, back to with my yo murder knife. Okay, sorry. Very small table out here. My dad set this up, and uh, truth be told, he's not a he's not Albert Einstein, but uh, he does like making things. I'll tell you that. All right. Open it? Oh, like this. How do I get a good shot of this? Sorry, I reset the camera so I could um get a good shot of this. A decent shot of this. Oh my god. What is in here? I'll just take everything out first and then I'll see what's what. Um I kind of don't want to just set this down because like there's like a granite piece right here i'm not freaking with it luckily these act as mighty fine um shock absorbers so cute i'll do that wow look at that thing green looking green up to shrek's house you know what i'm saying all right I don't know how to open this at, like at a good angle. Open it like that. So, oh my, oh, Woo. looking sleek. Um, shit, dude. I've been waiting for this for like a um, waiting to buy it at least for like a month and a half at least. And um, now that I have it in my hands, it's kind of epic. I'm not gonna lie. Always pick up your trash. Don't leave it outside. Littering is a federal offense and is also very bad for the environment. All right. This is an all. This is a uh, unibody uh, little chassis. It is a uh, solid brick of aluminum that they shaved out and put all the junk inside there. Um, I'm really liking to build. Uh, I, I chose this one because it has everything that I wanted. So I really wanted something that was the same size as my current laptop, had an SD card slot, and was like really good. So I could play freaking video games because I like gaming. What can I say? Um, it's got four fans on the bottom. And up here, it is raised a little bit. So 
This is the intake fan. It intakes cold air and it is raised up here because it shoots it out here. And obviously you don't want it pulling in the hot air. So it'll ruin your computer parts. Problem is uh, my computer area, which is my desk near my bed, has really, really bad ventilation. Um, so it constantly pulls back hot air. So I'm gonna have to fix that too. But uh, hey, at least I got a cool laptop first. So this one has an ethernet cable, two USBs, a USB-C, a headphone jack, another USB, a USB-C, SD card, HDMI, and a Thunderbolt 3, which is a nice little charger. There's a truck rolling by my neighborhood. Very epic. Thanks, man. Opening it up. Let's, uh, let's see what's inside. How the fuck do you open this? Oh, okay, it's just a little heavy. Damn, Daniel. That shit looks fire. It really does, though. Goddamn. Wow. Alright, so this is... An NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Max-Q has 8 gigabytes of VRAM. I don't really know what that means, but hey, that's pretty good. It's got 9th generation uh, Intel Core i7 processor. That's good, I suppose. My other one was an i5, so this is definitely a step up. This is, uh, it's a Razer laptop, so it has Razer chroma whatever the light shit uh so light keyboard very epic let me see how that feels because uh, i'm gonna type something what do i type uh, i mean it's not all that different from my other laptop so that's cool it has a 240 hertz refresh rate screen which is pretty nice if you want to have fry uh high frame rates and be able to kind of notice it it has windows hello so i can unlock the computer with my face which is epic so i can keep my hentai and all that stuff secret <laughs> uh, it's rather heavy it's six pounds i think it was and um that's mainly due to the all aluminum chassis but it's okay um get built right dang all right well i can't wait to set this up inside because I'm not going to do that shit outside. What's this? Uh, books. Probably. Thank you for choosing laser. Can you give me stickers? What's this? Cleaning cloth? Oh, shit. Hmm. Huh. Hey. Cool stickers for gamers. Cool, I guess. I mean... Yeah. Um, on my other laptop, I had uh, an Apple sticker on the HP logo, and a lot of people thought it was uh, Mac. I don't know why. Like, Macs aren't that big, but, you know, you can jump to conclusions if you want. Um, I might do that with this one. I don't know. The Razer logo is, I mean, it's cool and whatever, but uh, nothing sleek like an Apple, right? <laughs> All right. And I... Where do I put this? I'm gonna put it back in its thingy. Ouch, stabbing me in the chest. It does look really good. I like the packaging. So, uh, good up, good ups, man. Good looks, uh, Razor, as, as the fellas say. Now I'm going to open this, which I'm almost 100% sure is the charging block. And this is a pretty heavy box or charging block. However, um, this little gaming power station probably takes a lot of power. So, <laughs> okay. Holy moly. All right. That is almost, it's like twice the size of my current uh, computer's power brick. I like the, the threaded cables. It's a nice touch because those cables get tangled in junk and if you pull them the wrong way you can accidentally rip the line and then oopsie poopsie you uh can't really use your charger anymore how the 
how the H do I get this out? Like that. Okay. All right. Go, I guess. I mean, nothing special about that. It's a little thingy. A little wall outlet that has like the three pronged thingy for this fellow. This is going to be heavy to carry around. I probably won't be carrying it around that often, though, because, uh, damn, $3,000 for a computer got me, got me tripping. Ah, I speak Ebonics. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm going to set it up. Sit back down. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, uh, my hair's kind of long uh, as you can tell so I think I might get a haircut I don't know I might post about it on my Instagram when I put this video up or maybe on my Twitter if you want to follow me there just kidding I'm not gonna link it because my Twitter I don't use it really ever well, that's not true I guess I retweet really weird news. never mind forget about the Twitter thing bye <laughs>